Welcome back, everyone. It's Friday, so you know we get to hang out with our friend Kevin from 98.7 The Dove. You'll see how I just said one person, Kevin. It's usually Kevin and Chris, but Kevin, Chris left you for Los Angeles. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's hard to blame her weather-wise, and uh, I think you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, Jeremy, you know, yeah. it's going to be quite a bit nicer in L.A. than it's going to be here this weekend. I mean, I've got my uh, heated underpants on, luckily, but... <laughs> I'm that just, uh, yeah, Critics' Choice Awards. She's at, she's headed out there. You guys are going to, uh, you know, uh, rock and roll out in L.A. Well, we're hoping to get you guys, you know, of course, The Dove and our show, some good content next week from different celebs. So hopefully, I mean, we're hoping it all goes well. We'll go off without a hitch, and people will be nice. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. the goal. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think the weather's going to be nice, with, uh, you know, no matter what. So I think it's like 70 out there and, uh, and like, I don't know, negative 70 here or something. But, uh, <laughs> But that's all right. We're ready to go. It's Friday. That's all that matters. The weekend's here. You know, we're pumped. Uh, Kevin, I wanted to ask you, because you do actually watch quite a few TV shows. Whenever we come over there, you're like, oh, have you watched this? Have you oh, requested yeah. any um, celebrity spottings f from Chris? Like, hey, if you see this person, get a picture with them or get a video of them saying, yo, Kevin, what's up? Yeah, well, uh, you, right off the bat, I'm thinking John Krasinski. I'm a huge Office fan. I know he's going to be there with his wife, who's up for a, an award. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to see her hanging with Krasinski. Also, anybody from Ted Lasso, uh, I'm down with that. Uh, I think the Jamie Tart, I, for, I forget his name, his real name, but that's who he plays in the show. He's going to be there. And uh, so many. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it would, it's crazy to think she's going to be hanging around in YouTube, Jeremy, especially you, because you're on the TV side with all these people that I sit on my couch and watch every day. And by the way, Kev, I don't know if you saw, but I gave you and your wife, Kelly, a shout out on Wednesday because you are the one who turned me on to Fool Me Once on Netflix. Oh, so now yeah. I've started oh, watching oh. and I've actually yeah. downloaded even more episodes to watch on the plane, all because of you and Kelly. Uh, you know, we do what we can. I'll tell you what, though, I love whodunits and uh, a good, you know, old style whodunit. And, and that, that's a real good one. I haven't well, I haven't finished it yet, so we would probably do that this weekend, you know. That's what I'm going to be doing, watching a lot of TV this weekend. And the Chiefs. Stay, stay, yeah. You know, <laughs> and Chiefs, of course. And yes. spe speaking of whodunits, I mean, I want to know who done it when it comes to taking beautiful uh, stories from our childhood and making them into horror films, like Winnie the Pooh. We've got the Mickey Mouse now that is now a horror film. I mean, yes. I'm surprised I don't, they I don't follow it, yeah. I'm surprised they haven't made, like, Pinocchio a scary movie yet, unless they have and I missed oh. it. I recently watched imagine? the live action and I was like, this could be a scary movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can you imagine Pinocchio and his nose coming after you? Right. Can't get away from it. It keeps going. Uh, yeah, Mickey's Mouse Trap is the latest in this uh, debauchery of our memories as, as kids. And, uh, you know, uh, we were talking about this the other day and coming, you know, what's next? I mean, I, I feel like uh, Popeye. I loved Popeye as a kid. <sighs> You know, I'm, I'm feeling like a nightmare on spinach, you know, street or something <laughs> where, you know, Popeye comes to the kids in their dreams and says, I, 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 I eat my spinach, you know, and forces it on them. It's just terrible. Nightmare city, you know. Nightmare yeah, city. I don't know if you've seen it, but they they do these really funny things on, on social media where they can take an existing trailer and all they really do is change the music and it turns right. into a scary movie trailer. You're like, oh, wow, that could be a scary movie. Absolutely. You know, it, it's crazy how much the music, you know, what the music means to any movie or TV show. Because, yeah, I've seen that, too. And also the reverse of that, where they take a scary movie and they add, like, uh, Seinfeld music or whatever to <laughs> yes. it. Yes. Totally changes. The whole. The music means a lot. Yeah. You know? I, I yeah. actually think they did that with The Office. They made oh, it yeah, into a scary, a scary TV show. But it's a drama. Yeah. Is it, is it because, do we think they're making these cartoons into horror films because there's a need for horror? Like, is there some... Well, as Chris said, they're moneymakers. Oh, I guess, I guess they, so, because you want to see them in a different light. They absolutely, you know, you, it's, well, they're moneymakers, uh, and they're also usually pretty low budget. That's why, I guess, because you can make a, you know, a cheap horror movie that does real well and makes some money. But uh, my wife is an aficionado of the horror movies, and there are plenty of them, Jeremy. There's enough. There's you plenty. Know, there's many, uh, we got enough of them. We don't need to ruin Mickey Mouse's reputation at this point. But <laughs> right. Kevin, okay, like before we wrap up, I know you're torn. Tomorrow's Chiefs game. Give us your prediction. Yeah. What do you say? 
Well, full disclosure, I am a lifelong Dolphins fan. I grew I up in Florida. I'm sorry to say, uh, but I love the Chiefs too. Um, so I just want a great game and looking forward to setting a temperature record. It's going to be one of the coldest games in NFL history. Definitely the coldest game for both of these teams in their histories. Uh, so it's just going to be fun. I may the best team win. I have I have a feeling those Miami Dolphins might just freeze. <laughs> I know. And by the way, it's Kevin, not good for them. Kevin, yeah. you could run for office now because that was the most political answer. <laughs> yeah. Politically correct think, answer I've ever heard because you did not I'm, answer the question, just like politicians. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Running. Thanks, Kevin. Right. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll be back to wrap up our uh, French onion soup for soup week no, right after this. Please don't go anywhere. Oh, it smells so good. It's Let's go. Let's go oh, get it.